Hey guys, Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We are at Music Messa 2015 in Frankfurt, Germany. We're, we're talking with Nick Huber. Nick Huber Guitars. Nick, you have a cool story here about a signature model that you've done for Berndt from Beat Stakes. Uh, tell us the story about it. Um, first of all, we're very proud to have Berndt around us. And um, the Beat Stakes is one of our favorite bands ever since. They have the coolest German rock band, I think. And, uh, and um, when we, I don't know, it's a couple of years ago when we emailed the management of the beats that they play were playing Frankfurt if the guitarists were maybe be interested in checking out our guitars. So we got a positive response. We went to them and um, from then on um, we got in contact. Clemens became real, I would say Clemens became friends with you, is that right? So and uh, from that on, Ben came once with the idea, could you do my guitar? So now, what, uh, be uh, before he tells about his yeah. guitar, what guitar did you show him in the first place? Uh, we brought a Riedbergen and a Krautzer for our first meeting, I think. It was uh, to, the, to the show, because we uh, obviously the Beat Stakes is a rock, rock and roll band, so um, we were not about to bring a blue shiny guitar. <laughs> I think we would have failed with that. So uh, it was a Riedbergen, a black Riedbergen, black Krautzer. Bernd, what do you remember about the first time you played one of Nick's guitars? Uh, incredible sound. Way better than all my other guitars, and uh, well done. Uh, you know, well built and well done, and easy to play. Easy to play, and always in tune, and all the stuff you wouldn't get with any other guitar. So you wanted to, him to do your guitar. What what was it you wanted at, to get out of a signature model? Um, there's a story before that. Uh, I built my own guitar uh, in a company called Sandberg, uh, quite over here somewhere. And uh, but I, I didn't pick up the right piece of wood, maybe or what, whatever. And uh, so and I asked that guys uh, build me that guitar again with the right uh, woods, with the right you know inspiration, and, and and they just did it, and this is the result. And I mean, nice. Let's get Nick. So, what what was what's the story of how this developed after you first met, met with Bernd? Uh, you mean con uh, on that guitar? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, for it was kind of a challenge for me, honestly, um, because Bernd had it, it's it's his design, it's his ideas, and um, to transport this in our kind of way to make a guitar. Uh, there were some uh, corners and areas where I really had to put on my brain, and uh, it's, it, it, that's the only custom guitar, I've, a custom shape, custom headstock um, I've done, I think, in 15 years. We were really stuck to our, our shapes and uh, denied every custom order yeah. inquiry like this. I love the headstock. That's absolutely Mr. Kurtzke's idea, and um, so it was really a blast. Um, after all these years, Dolphin Orchestra Crowds to make really something for us. I mean, we have not invented an uh, entirely innovative new guitar. It's obviously still a conservative guitar design, but for us it was a new shape and it was um, a lot of fun to do. And also um, the challenge to make a professional guitarist happy. So other than, than like the custom headstock shape and stuff, that you don't normally do, what were some of the difficult things to figure out? You know, um, uh, if you turn the guitar, can you flip the guitar? We still wanted to come up with our neck joint, so the cutaway area in the lower bout was really kind of tricky to do, and uh, Ben wanted to have 24 frets, a, a more narrow neck. To give, him, to give him more access to the high fret? Right, right, and uh, also to put at least, also I, I would I wanted to see our, our, our neck joint into that and try to really make it happen in a double cutaway design, so this was fun to draw, fun to work out, and um, yeah, 24 frets, and the mini humbucker, and um, the interior, how the, the chambers were done, and uh, where to place the toggle, where he really wanted it. Um, he wanted to have the Brazilian rosewood, but this the slipper on the headstock on the back. And, yeah, uh, yeah, I was going to say, flip that back around again, Frankie. Um, it, I don't know if you can tell him that's light, but it, it's not just a black stained neck, it's rosewood. It's a rosewood neck, so um, Bernd had part a really particular idea of how the guitar should cut through the sound, uh, cut through the band context, and I uh, was very happy after we made one for him to check out that he wanted a few more. Now, what, what's the body made of? The body is um, 
mahogany um, and uh, maple top on. Okay. Is there uh, a, a block down the middle? Yeah, it's the middle block, and it's uh, the upper bout. It's we have a chamber, um, a chamber in the upper bout, and it's also hollow in the down area. And uh, the back plate is carved like the back is, and uh, yeah, it was it was fun. It was really fun. How about the pickups? The pickups are, are still made by Harry Heusel. Um, he, he custom made them for band, and the, especially the mini humbucker. How, um, how how band wanted it. Bernd, um, when you were working on these pickups with Harry Heusel, what were what were you going for? What did you tell Harry or his team or whatever? What kind of sound? Uh, before the guitar, I had the ES uh, 355, uh -huh. so uh, um, with a Classic Plus humbuckers. And that's the, that's the, the, the pickup I would prefer. So I just told him, uh, this is my pickup actually. And if like, you can, like Seymour Duncan, plus, uh, plus no, it's Gibson, Gibson. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Classic plus, and uh, and it's for for me, there's not really a big difference between uh, those pickups, and I really like it. Just unique sound. And is the the mini humbucker sort of like a like a Firebird mini humbucker yeah, or something? Kind of, kind of. And uh, sounds very light, and, and uh, I, I really like the tone of it. Right. All right, now enough talking. Let's have Frankie play a few different things through that different clean and. I'm guessing your band gets pretty aggressive and yeah. nasty. Do, should we turn up some distortion? There we go. How about, uh, let's hear some other pickup positions. Middle, yeah. All right, Nick. So this is a a custom model for Bernd, but uh, are you going into production with this for for the average guy? So yeah, uh, we certainly did show it to really show it to the public, and it's the first time we really officially showed after Bernd toured with it, and uh, we have really inquiries for that and so we would chat with Bernd and our customers how we can really bring this into the market and um, I look very forward to have some cool news on that soon. So something similar but maybe not Rosewood Neck or whatever. That's complicated because the Brazil Sala Brazil Rosewood Neck really brings up the price and you know all the paperwork inside these documents which are always attached to that and uh, we try to make it more accessible. All right, well, we're going to let Bernd go, and then we'll look at another guitar. Bernd, yeah. thanks for joining us. Thank you for coming here. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. All right, Nick, so this is another new thing you're going. This is super cool. Tell us yeah, about it. Absolutely. I mean, this guitar is based on our Redwood model, and we have a nice new finish, I think. Um, we call it the Copper Coat. It's a finish that contains real copper. It's not metal covered on that guitar. It's really in the finish. It oxidizes, it ages. It's, um, it totally looks like a metal plate. It does, it does. And I like the look so much. And we've been playing with copper metallics a lot, but uh, since we have this now we're coming up, I really like that. And to make the guitar make look and sound a little bit different and more in a different way that we did it, we added a small trapeze. Um, tail to that guitar and uh, we have brand new tuners um, made for us by Shala which which are very cool so uh, these are open gear open gear tuners no plastic questions very smooth working and, and probably better sounding tuners I say that very offensive <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's uh, a new version of our Redwood we, um, we will have this finish 
and the regular as a regular option, but um, having this hollow guitar with the trapeze is um, combined with new tuners. I thought that it was worth showing. Have you had a trapeze on your guitars before? I don't recall no. seeing it. No, we had one prototype in Berlin last year, but um, um, again, we always come here to fish for feedback. Feedback was good. I like the look a lot, and um, I, again, I mean, we, I think we're pretty known for more of the conservative kind of guitar, yeah. but uh, and we've probably seen that before in the world, but um, <laughs> I like it a lot, and it adds a different tone to the guitar, and um, I'm happy to see that. Sweet. Let's have Frankie play it. Right on. How do you think, you said that you feel like the copper paint changes the tone, how would you oh, say no, it affects it? That, that I meant on the tuners, sorry about uh, Okay. I meant, I meant the tuners, but um, certainly, you know, the, honestly that's a little bit too fresh to really tell you if this really affects the tone big time, it's uh, obviously that's metal contained though the finish does behave different than a regular finish, but yeah. um, shouldn't affect it big time. Yeah. Alright, um, so is this going to be just like a custom option or? Well, um, this is definitely something we will be regularly offering, but um, again, trade show first time. I um, see what what the what um, what the audience re reacts. So if you guys dig it, look up Nick. Tell him where to do that. Tell him where to go and find your website and send you an email or whatever. Right, we are on www.nikuba-guitars.com. Working on a new new website, by the way, and of course you can find us on Facebook and. Um, where we should find you, uh, where you should find us. Sweet. Thanks, Frankie. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com.